Hey guys, and happy Saturday. We made it to the weekend, finally. It was a long week. It was. It was, it was a very long week, and it ended with the world's longest Friday. But we're here, it's the weekend, it's Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. So today it is currently 4 p.m. in the afternoon. But believe it or not, we woke up at a decent time, at least I did. I was up at like 10. I woke up before you. Well. I woke up natural. Woke up natural. So we've been like just kind of hanging out because it was like gross and rainy out, which is not a vibe, especially when you want to wander around on like a Saturday. We had originally intended to go, I think, was it Aurora we were going to? That's what you wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I need to get this stupid straw Nolita 18 or whatever it is before they sell out because every time I want something at the outlet, which isn't often, it quickly sells out. That's why I had like such FOMO over the shearling bag that we all know that I bought and carried once and don't really love. So hopefully we don't have a repeat of that with the straw. But I did see this one in person already and I loved it. It just wasn't on sale yet that day. I think it was like still over a hundred. Wake yeah. up, don't be rude. Yeah. But I don't know what color I want to get. Like I'm torn between like pink shell or shell pink is what they call it and the white slash natural. No, troll. I have a very exciting something to show you guys. Um, Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack actually sent me a couple of bags that she was like, hey, I'm not really into these anymore. Do you want them? And I was like, that's a very generous gift. Make sure you're sure. And she was very sure and she snuck another one in there and super sweet. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, so Jackie was kind enough to, first she emailed me, she messaged me about this over on Instagram. We were discussing, hi, Super Jacob. We were discussing um, vintage coach bags and Dooney and Burke bags and shopgoodwill.com. And she was like, hey, I have this bag that's not really vibing with me anymore. Do you, do you want it? And I was like, well, I mean, I'll never turn down a bag. I can tell you that right now. But I was like, well, that's a very generous of you, but please, please, please make sure you're sure because there's nothing worse than like bag regret. We all know it. Like we're bag lovers. We've been there. We know a thing or two. And she sent over this beauty. So this one, you're like, Caleb, is that a coach bag? Yes, it is. This is from the Dakota collection from 91, 92. So yeah, she's a little old. She's seen some things. And this is, I believe, the mini Cassidy crossbody. Super freaking cute. The interior, which I actually have stuffed with um, towels right now, just to kind of reshape it after I washed it yesterday, um, is lined in pigskin back there with the Creed. Now, originally this collection was made in Italy, but for some reason, mine and like a couple of others that I've seen online and on the purse form are marked made in New York. So I'm very curious, like at what point was the, in the two years, was the Dakota line made in Italy or made in the US? So if you do know about that, please leave a comment down below. How did you clean it, Caleb? Great question. So I have been wanting to try this new method on um, Dooney and Burks that I've learned about. I re I'm gonna do a whole, I'm not gonna tell you the secrets now, but I did a, I'm going to film an entire video on, you know, Dooney and Burke cleaning, what to do, what not to do. And that same method worked on this bag because of the textured leather and like the beautiful bridal trim. I just had to practice on it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to work because Jackie also snuck in a second bag that she didn't tell me about. Sneaky, sneaky. Are you guys ready to see? Can you even handle it? A Dooney and Burke vintage saddle bag. Yes, that is its exact name. It's style number R750 and it's in the color bone. You know, we love a good bone around here. <laughs> anyway, this bag, you guys, is absolutely phenomenal. It's bone leather, AWL, absolutely fabulous. Solid brass hardware and details, bridal leather, just absolutely phenomenal. So I, I did my new method of, of cleaning it and restoring the leather trim here on the sides, that saddle trim. And I mean, I just cannot wait to carry this beauty, like such a fantastic bag. And what Jackie doesn't know, cause this, this, she totally snuck this in the box, was this is actually several iterations are on my eBay watch list right now. I am absolutely floored. But anyway, thank you so much, Jackie. If you haven't yet, go and check Jackie out. She's new to YouTube, Jack's Bag Attack. I'll link it down in the description. So it is Saturday afternoon. Well, Saturday evening now, 6 p.m. I love this time of year when it starts to like stay light longer. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just looking at you. Can You're bullying me. You? I'm being gaslit and bullied here in live time. In live, live real time. Anyway, I like this time of year because it's still bright out. What are we doing? We're finally in the car. We've left the house. All afternoon, we've literally watched Super Jacob, played video games, Zane's editing tomorrow's video, which is a Dooney and Burke unboxing. If you haven't watched it yet, link down in the description. I'm just kidding, but no, seriously, it is in the description. I wouldn't lie to you. Where are we going though, you ask? Like, I love the fact you stay curious. We're gonna go and pick up pizza. My favorite pizza is a couple villages over. It's about 17 minute drive. That's what you told me. But it's worth it. It's like good, cheap, greasy, small town pizza. Like, you know what I'm talking about. 
and it's divine. So we're gonna go get some pizza and I'm gonna show you some some moody eye candy along the way on the drive because it's a little overcast, a little cloudy, but the trees are starting to bud. So it's kind of a neat juxtaposition of, of seasons and tempestuous changes. <laughs> Just kidding, enjoy the ride. <laughs> like two minutes actually one minute so it's probably it's ready, probably ready. Yeah. Well, you get it nope i drove passenger princess well if i was a true passenger princess i would be getting my own damn pizza that's right now get out no oh, wow bully behavior love you i'm not gonna share any of my pizza with you wow <laughs> So you guys know that when you see the map of Italy on your pizza box, it's gonna be a freaking good pizza and this does not disappoint you guys. Possibly the most important unboxing that you're ever going to see on this channel. Oh my god, it looks so good! <laughs> good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday fun day. Well, <laughs> not really morning anymore. It's uh, 2 in the afternoon. Oops. I had my alarm set this morning for 10 a.m. because I had to get ready for the Daniel Burke unboxing live premiere, which I really, I really love doing because it's fun to like chat with you guys, be in the moment, see what, you know, like everyone's excited, what they're saying. It's a lot of fun. I love live premieres. I'm gonna apologize now. Like I know this has been a low-key boring vlog. Like so far you've watched me pick up a pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, guys, not every single weekend can be go, go, go. And it's like disgusting out. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain and the wind right now, but it is, it's kind of it's low key gross, not gonna lie. So we've just had like a nice chill weekend in. Um, yesterday was rainy, today it is rainy right now. So because it's so rainy today, like I don't wanna take out my new nylon because nylon is waterproof to a point, but like once it gets so wet, like it's not repelling water anymore. So just to be safe, I am going to stick with a trusty Dooney & Burke all-weather leather bag, the one that Jackie sent me, the vintage saddlebag style number R750 in the color bone. It's gonna look with this, it's gonna look good with this like oatmeal fantasy that I'm serving today, like my 90s neutral vibes. We're here for it. It's 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 a thing. And we're gonna go to a new mall. Now, this mall, it's not gonna have any Neiman Marcus, there won't be a Saks, there won't be a Chanel concession. Like I think this is just like a Got plain regular mall. They, I think they have a Macy's though. I think I haven't been to a Macy's in years. Well, the one downtown doesn't count. But no, haven't been to a Macy's in years. They, they never really have what I'm looking for. But I just wanted to like check out this friends and family sale because I posted a link for you guys to the friends and family sale. It's over by now, and I low key liked some of the things I posted. So I'm gonna go see it in person. Then we need to get groceries. So there's gonna be a Target run. There's gonna be Starbies. There's gonna be Macy's. All the normal weekend vlog stuff, just a little bit more low key. So. Come for the ride, but first, we have to switch bags. All right, so I have been carrying my Fendi Celeria made to order large peekaboo all week with the gorgeous Ferragamo Python wallet. Cute combo, super cute, very heavy though, and I don't wanna take that out in the rain. So let's switch into the new vintage saddle. So we're half 
price books. It wouldn't be a trip out here without a stop at our bookstore. Anyway, Zane tried to drop me off at the door because rain vibes okay. and he's kind sometimes not often but i didn't realize as i was getting out I'm like oh shoot i have the key the car key all the way at the bottom of my bag i'm like by the time i dig it out, I'm just gonna, it's fine just run up there it's cool i'll get me that it is an all-weather leather bag right? yeah but it's not i'm not so. wearing all-weather leather wool my turtleneck i mean you know, it's a acrylic it's asos it's fine it's whatever i'll just be wet happy sunday fun day i'm just kidding guys let's go get some books <laughs> You are prepared. Let's go. Of course they're gonna stop in front of us. Oh my god. Ah everyone we're running. <laughs> Whoa. Why is this car keep backing up? <laughs> Okay, so we just left Hawthorne Mall and safe space, don't cancel us. It was like a, being in a liminal space, you know, like yeah. I had no sense of time. We got whiffs of cologne from like 15 years Strange ago. Strange fragrances, yeah, from, from a forgotten time. Um, and judging by like the, the products around us and like the patterns and, and the fashions that were on sale, and like it, it, it could be 2007, it, it could be 2021. We don't know what year it is mm -hmm. in here. Just the time was at a standstill. My Cinnabon was good, the second one. The first one had a massive clump of hair on top. Love that for me. But no, I that mall was not the vibe. They are trying to rejuvenate it, if you will, by building a lot of apartments around it, tearing half of it down, putting, you know, cars and parking spaces inside the hallways. And one of those mm -hmm. kind of jobs, we'll see if it takes off or they actually complete it, because there's a, several malls in our area where they're trying to do that. I'm not optimistic. Anyway, very strange mall. Very dead, very empty, but still full with a lot of people. At one point, when we were eating our Cinnabons, the the children nearby were screaming so loud that it sounded like a zombie apocalypse. Yes, it, like they were like screaming, uh, screaming bloody murder. Like, like oh. what? It was a very, very strange <laughs> mall. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Gosh, and that Macy's. Oh, that was sad. Girl, I remember when Macy's was like. For us here in the Midwest, Midwest. for the Midwest, for yes. the Midwest folks, when they took over Ellis Airs and Marshall Fields, those were both great department stores. They've just really 
kind of slid downhill. I don't think all the celebrity endorsements and celebrity brands really did. Didn't help them. Didn't help them enough to, to reinvigorate the, the brand identity. Speaking of brand identity, next we're going to go into the Dick's Sporting Good Warehouse to mm -hmm. find like some good deals in athleisure wear. So come join maybe. us for that. I know, knock on wood. I got these Adidas shoes there though for a good deal. So maybe Lightning Sticks oh, twice. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I got these there in like like 16 pairs of shorts for like a, bu a buck each. Mm -hmm. The shorts were a good deal. They were a good deal. So we are just burning through these errands, you guys. We went to the Liminal Space Mall. We just left the Dick's Warehouse sale extravaganza. Outlet store. Outlet basically. store. Yeah. Not great this time. Like, really not great. But I found a really cute pair of Adidas pants. Sweatpants. Zane got some shorts. And the entire time I kept telling Zane, like, oh, these 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 sweatpants are going to look really good with this sweatshirt that I have. I've had it from Adidas for years. It's the cream one with the drop shoulders. You probably know what I'm talking about. I've worn it on camera a couple of times. And the whole time Zane's just like, yeah, that's going to look nice. Oh, yeah. I could tell he didn't know what I was talking about. So I waited until we got out in the car. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, that sweatshirt has like the three-quarter zip and the pink stripe down the side. He goes, yeah, that's going to look nice. Where did you buy that one again? He never did. I never did. I was gaslighting you in real time. As you can tell, we're at Target. We need to get some groceries for the week. <laughs> So I know you guys are enthralled, like best weekend vlog ever, but here's an update. We laid down and took a nap. How long do you think we napped for? Oh, probably like an hour. An hour. <gasps> and it felt amazing. It's like one of those naps where you don't wake up confused and angry. Is that, nice. is that normal? <laughs> I just feel rested. You've all been watching it. Yes, I still have very angry sit right here on my cheek. I don't know what happened. I don't normally knock on Marvel have the problems with adult acne, but it happens. He's a real person. I'm a real person. <laughs> Ew. Anyway, so Zane is about to make his famous homemade Mongolian beef. That's not my recipe. Well, you make it. So it's, it's yours. yours. It's yours now. Um, you guys, I kid you not, like this, this recipe is phenomenal. All my friends that have ever made it, love it. Yeah. So it, I will link it down in the description, obviously. I'm not a gatekeeper. No gatekeeping here. This is a safe space. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> Let's go shop. Let's get to cooking. <laughs>
this and it is flawless every single time. I think it might be one of my best batches, actually. I seriously so good. It's so good. Make this. Mm. Substitute if you don't like meat, because the sauce is everything. The sauce is phenomenal. <laughs> so, yes, if you don't like meat, do tofu, whatever. Tofu, something, like a substitute, like, <laughs> every single time, you guys. But this, the, it's the, incredible. the ginger is really coming out. It is incredible. phenomenal. So we're going to smash. It's like almost 11 o'clock at night. It's our little midnight feast. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to smash, enjoy this meal, and then I want to watch some Marvelous Miss Maisel. All right, so should we just call it a night? Yeah. Okay. So that's it, you guys. Um, thank you for coming along on what is quite possibly the most boring weekend ever, but it was low-key amazing. You saw a dead mall. You saw a dead mall. Um, gosh, we, we looked at some new Dooney and Coach bags that I got from Jackie. We had an amazing meal. We went and got a pizza. We went to a Target. The only thing we didn't get in this vlog, Zane, is Starby's run. Oh my gosh. Who this are we? This is the second week in a row. Last week we went to one, but we were running late for a train, so we didn't capture well, it. We got Starbeast with Jamie in underneath the Hancock building. Oh, we did. You're right. Yeah. I'm, okay. So I we ended it. I we, know. <laughs> you had because you had to be there. Um. So we had Starbeast last week, but we did not have Starbeast this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's the rain and just like wanting to be it was just, chill. Just chill and side vibes. Only. Yeah. Like, so if you're new to our channel, yes. this isn't normal. This is not normal, you guys. Normally we're running around town doing fabulous things, shopping, being goofy. This is a very chill weekend for us, which is not the norm, mm -hmm. but I kind of low key enjoyed it. I needed a quiet, dead weekend, to be quite honest with you. I'm starving. We're going to eat this. Thank you for joining us this week. I hope you all have fun. Stay safe. And we'll see you guys on Sunday. Yeah. Bye-bye.